Hey guys, this is Sean with Integrity Ranch. It's a beautiful morning. Um, I think we're like May 21st today. Beautiful, just a little bit chilly. Um, I just moved the sheep and the goats. Some of them haven't come over yet, but they'll find their way later today. Just rolled it up, give them a big opening. Um, I'm gonna shoot a little video. People are always asking, and I'm always asking myself even sometimes, why do I have the goats, you know? Sheep are easier. Why do I have the goats? Um, and this is why right here. They've been in here for a day and a half. Um, it's Tuesday morning, and we moved them in here Sunday night. Show you these trees. I mean, you can see through those trees pretty good walk up here and show you the fence line um, you know they have about two acres of pasture here but right now the leaves are so much more tender that they're just hammering the trees and you don't get that with just sheep and so having the two of them working together I don't know it's it's pretty perfect, but uh have to be able to make it work. So this is the fence, and you can see the difference here, but the lighting's real bad, so I'll try to get in the trees a little bit. Yeah, now the lighting gets a little better. And you can see a pretty distinct difference here. There's goats and sheep out there, and you can hardly see them. Versus over here. They have all those leaves down low just eating up. I mean, they just uh, knock these little trees down and take care of them. Goats are a lot more creative at knocking little brush down and getting all the leaves off even the top. They'll stand up on their back legs to do it, and sheep won't. Which comes back around to making sheep easier to keep in, too, but... So it's a give and a take. Comes back to, you know, what's your goals. Because goats definitely don't fit everyone's goals. I'm, uh... I started with the goats first. I definitely probably like the sheep more, but... I'm gonna have a hard time ever giving the goats up. Such a nice morning. So hard not to just, uh, nice little brown ram or brown lamb. See that goat there? She's standing on a log to get those leaves. And sheep just don't do that. Um, it's funny to watch sheep and goats' personality, the difference that they are. Sheep just aren't really thinking. I mean, she's getting five foot up there pretty good. Goats don't, uh, sheep don't really think about stuff like that, you know. They just uh, put their head down and graze. Which, like I said, makes them easier to keep in. The goat's just uh, perched on that log, eating up high. That's a pretty young one. And you'll see it, even when they're babies, they start. I mean, goats are just, that little baby's walking on that log. They just, they're acrobats. They like that balance game. But we just turned a goat and sheep herd into the last paddock before we start over and start um, start grazing, you know, our paddocks for the second time in 2023. So we did a full circle this spring, and now we'll do uh, 
another just fast circle around um, on this side of the river and then let those babies get a little bigger and then we get across the river which is always fun across the river and we have some other fields on the other side of Turkey Creek which uh, isn't super big but it adds its challenges trying to get goats and sheep goats and sheep and their babies across because they don't care for water too much but it's ready for us we got some rain and I, I kept wondering if we were going to be even ready to start regrazing for the second pass and a oh, whole pile of babies down there <laughs> freaking goats they just leave their babies down there and come up here for new food. All these babies are practicing their climbing, jumping. I don't know, goat. Baby goats are, I think, cuter than baby sheep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. Get it out there for you guys. I think baby goats are cuter. But yeah, I was a little worried that we weren't even gonna be, you know regrown enough because we've only had 30 32 or three days before we're restarting because usually we do the full rotation but with all these babies i don't want to try crossing the river um but we got a little rain and man it just it saved you that grass grew more in a couple days with some rain than it has in a freaking month that's amazing um show you guys this little autumn olive bush gets up there it's probably probably eight feet to the top and they didn't quite get all those top leaves but they stripped that thing pretty good um and they'll do the same to any of them over here there's a little little cluster right there but not as not as big as that one that's why we run sheep and goats together they uh They've got their advantages. Um, this fence here is kind of a perimeter. It hasn't been took down. We reel it up here to let stuff through, but it hasn't been took down in a couple years now. <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of my cheap, it's not a perimeter, but it's a cheap line fence. It's It stays. Eventually we will get like a five strand um, high tensile fence put in here and it'll be straight of course, but. I put this one up a couple years ago when I was in a hurry, um, and it's done its job. But when we're rotating them, we've been doing uh, three strands for the goats. Um, I said goats are a little harder to keep in. We're getting ready here to go to two because we're going to start moving fast enough that we'll go to two. Um, as long as we're moving them, we can stay at two. If we get to our, you know, we're not moving them every two to three days, then we have to go back up to to three. Three will keep them in as long as there's food. And if, you know, that's the thing about goats. They start running out of food, they're going to... Some of them will, will test that fence. And so, I mean, four strands hot keeps them in all the time, but anything less than that they start and, and they have a reason to which you just never should give them a reason um you're not in the business to be starving animals there's no profit in that so i mean we push them sometimes i'm not to say that we haven't done our fair share of making them work for their food you know beautiful morning the ponds and creeks were all foggy Just so nice makes you realize this is why you love doing this i don't want to be going to work today which i have to go later but i was glad i could come here for a little while this morning so hey everyone have a great day and hit that subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you would appreciate it